Okay, so we're gonna just start with basic operations and matrices. Um, you will learn in a little bit that you can do every single problem on this on a calculator. You just type it in and do it. These ones though are so easy that it's stupid to type it in the calculator because that actually makes more work for you. Okay, so when you're doing these basic operations, okay, you don't want to type this in the calculator, okay? And so our basic operations are what we call scalar multiplication. And I'll show you what that means in a second. Uh, addition and subtraction. So whenever you're asked to do any of those, do not type it in the calculator. It's going to make your life harder, all right, because they're just that easy. So we're going to take uh, matrix C. And this is a three by three. So I got negative four, zero, negative one, seven, negative two, negative two, five, six, and two. And I'm gonna take matrix A, which is also a three by three. Two, six, four, one, seven, three, five, negative seven, one. Okay? And I'm just gonna perform three different operations. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna find three C. And the second one we want to do is C plus A. And the third one we want to do is 2A minus 4C. Okay, so we're just going to make it harder each time. All right, um, so here we go. Scalar multiplication is when you just multiply the entire matrix by number. So right here, I'm multiplying matrix C by 3. This one, I multiply matrix A by 2 and matrix C by 4. Okay, so that's all scalar multiplication is. And what that means is is I'm taking this matrix and I'm multiplying it by three. So you take every element, every number in there, and just multiply by three. Okay, so that one's pretty simple. All right, three times negative four, negative 12, three times seven, 21, 15, zero, negative six, 18, negative three, negative six, positive six. And you're done. That's all you gotta do. Okay, so that's what scalar multiplication is. All right. In order to add, so we got C plus A. Okay, so when you're going to add, there's one key thing. Uh, they have to be the same size when you're gonna add or subtract, okay? And by what I mean be the same size is, we're gonna say C1 is R1 by C1, so rows by columns, has to equal R2 by C2. Okay, so these two numbers have to be the same, and these two numbers have to be the same. Okay, they don't have to be a square matrix, all right? They don't have to have the rows and columns being equal, but the rows need to be the same and the columns need to be the same. Okay, and so this is a three by three, this is a three by three, so we're good to go. Okay, and when you're gonna add, you're literally going to just match the spots up. So first row, first column, I'm adding those. So what's negative four plus two? Well, that's just negative two. And then first row, second column, seven plus one is eight. And then five plus five is 10. And then six plus, or zero plus six is zero. Negative two plus seven is five. Neg or six minus seven is negative one. Uh, negative one plus four is going to be, sorry, three. And then we got a positive one, and then we have a positive three. Okay, so when you're adding or subtracting, you just line up the column in the row, add those numbers, and just work your way. You can work your way down, so you can go by columns, or you can go across by rows. It doesn't really matter. All right, so that's how you add and subtract, okay? I want you guys now to go ahead and try to do part C uh, on your own. Try to solve it, see if you can get the correct matrix. Um, and then uh, go ahead and just check your work as I'm going. Okay, so 2a means I gotta double everything in here. So I get 4, 12, 8, uh, 2, 14, 6, 10, negative 14, and 2. Okay, and then minus 4c means I gotta quadruple everything in that. So negative 16, 0, negative 4. 28, negative 8, negative 8, uh, 20, 24, and 8. And I'm kind of running out of room. All right, so for this one, we're actually going to be doing subtraction instead of addition, but it's the same thing. You just take the two spots and you subtract them. So it's 4 minus a negative 16, which that just makes a positive, so that's a 20. 
okay? And then 2 minus 28, so that's negative 26, and 10 minus 20 is a negative 10. 12 minus 0 is 12, 14 minus a negative 8, well that's actually plus 14 plus 8, which would come out to be uh, 22. Negative 14 minus 24, so it's going to be negative, but you're really adding that, and so that would be a negative 38. Okay, 8 minus a negative 4 is really 8 plus 4, so that's 12. 6 minus a negative 8, so that's really 6 plus 8, which would be 14. And 2 minus 8 would be a negative 6. All right, so go ahead, check your work, and make sure you got that answer for that one. Okay, but these are very simple. Hopefully you're seeing that. It's not really hard to uh, do scalar multiplication. You just multiply every number, add, match up the spots, add them, or subtract them. Okay? All right.